Welcome back, Lego enthusiasts, to Heart of a Kid Productions, and we're going to jump right into a comparison of my large Razor Crest that I just built recently, the gunship, to the N1 Starfighter. Just so you guys can see, I picked that up, and I actually got it at Costco with a great deal. Um, so, obviously, you can see my Razor Crest, which still looks amazing. And then, uh, right over here, I got my N1 Starfighter with a... Obviously, a female character from that movie and little ro or that TV show, and the little robot, really cool, looking good. So this set, um, to me, was way overpriced, way overpriced. It looked really cool. I went to the Lego store; they had it on display, um, and I was like, man, I kind of want it just because it was on the Book of Boba Fett, and I hadn't even watched that show yet. And I actually was like, you know, before I build this, I need to watch. That whole show i was way behind the power curve so what i did i watched the whole show before i built it and then i built this and i was like oh this is so great to have because it's so cool that the mandalorian uh sits in there and then obviously little uh grogu is right there baby yoda it looked so cool especially on the show i love i loved the end of that so if you haven't seen uh, the book of bobo fett you need to watch it. it it was actually worth it in the long run even my son was like oh, i was bored after the first episode so he didn't watch it i was like no you need to watch it it's really good um there's obviously uh the mandalorians in there and a lot of cool little things going on so i was like it's only a few episodes so he's like oh okay i'll watch it because he didn't even realize baby yoda was in there so he was like oh he's in there i gotta watch it so of course everybody loves uh baby yoda grogu so I was like, I was like, yeah, you gotta watch it, man. So he went to watch it. So the crazy thing is, so we're gonna kind of compare this to uh, to this thing. So this actually fighter, man, I gotta like back up. But this fighter is actually pretty, pretty big. And which is crazy because, and it's not big in a sense, it's just long because of the, uh, the way it's built. All right, let's not have this fall and bust up here. But anyways, so if you notice, it's, it's pretty, pretty long. So if it goes to the back right there, yeah, pretty, pretty long. Still doesn't complete the whole thing, but this thing is massive. So the crazy thing is, which looks really cool. So my main concern with this set, even though I like it, but I got a really good deal. I think I got it for like 40 bucks or something, or maybe 35, 30 bucks, somewhere around there. But I got a really great deal at Costco because they were doing, yeah, I think I got it for 30 bucks because I paid 50 at Costco because it was on sale. And then I went back and it had dropped to 30. So I actually was able to get 20 bucks back because it was within a month and it got cheaper. So I got 20 bucks back. So I paid $30 for this thing. And I think at the Lego store, it's like $70. $70 it reminds me of General Grievous's starship like that was like way too expensive and I paid full price for that one so I'm glad Costco is actually selling Legos now because they got some great deals and then I always check after I get a great deal on um, what they have uh, if the prices drop so I can actually get money back on my card for those things so so really cool really cool but yeah it really looks nice now if you actually watch the show, because they actually, she works on this this whole time, and the Mandalorian, they're building it, and I was like, oh, when it was done, it looked so good in the show. I was like, man, this N1 Starfighter looks so great. So when I was building it, I was like, it's going to look so cool. It doesn't not look cool. I love the engine. I love the way they look. I love the cockpit area. I love this whole front. But the problem with this set is, given it's based on the show, this looks like the one that's not completed. Because when they finish the N1 Starfighter in the show, it is chromed out, complete. This whole front area is just chrome. It looks sweet. It's like a brand new, Nabu Starfighter. It looks amazing. And I'm like, wait, these this is just gray. And then I was like, all right, well, there's no no chrome. All right. And then I was like, and not even this area is complete. Like it's not filled. It's just studs. It looks kind of like it's not finished in my opinion. Like it looks like when he came to pick up his 
what he thought was gonna be a new Razor Crest. She was like, oh no, this, and he's like, this hunk of junk, what are you talking about? And she's like, oh, it just needs a little work. So they work on it together to finish it. So this is not even the complete remodel of this Naboo Starfighter that you would expect. Now I understand the chrome pieces are pricey. So, and again, this was way overpriced. It was 70 bucks at the Lego store and it didn't even come with the chrome. I'd be like, okay, 70 bucks, all chromed out. No problem, I'd pay the 70 bucks. I was like, that'd be great. Um, no, no chrome. And like, even if they did all this area all redone with gray like this, that would have been great. Like, yeah, it looks cool. It would have been slick. They could do it. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, all grayed out and it looks like it's complete. This Razor Crest, it is beautiful. Every nook and cranny is done to perfection. This thing, if you have not bought this already, save your money and buy this because it is beautiful. This, do not spend $70 on this, guys. Do not go to Costco. Get it for 30 bucks if you want it. I wanted it because I wanted this because it is part of the Mandalorian. I wanted it, but I was not willing to pay $70, so I got it for 30 uh, It might have jumped back up to 50 but, you know, 50 is better than 70 uh, again, you know, the funny thing I was thinking about this, I was like, man, I really wish it had like the chrome pieces or whatever. So I was actually thinking I might actually go buy the Mandalorian helmet that they just came out with a couple months ago. And then instead of making the Mandalorian helmet, because I don't really collect the helmets, my son does, but I don't. And taking those chrome pieces from the helmet and I don't know how many they come with, and I don't know if I'd be able to actually like do anything to make it look slicker with those chrome pieces because they might not conform to the way I need them to conform. But I was like, worst case scenario, I caught got a little helmet and that one, the Mandalorian helmet does look cool in my opinion. Um, but I could always just take it apart put chrome all over here on here, kind of do it some way to make it look unique, um, to add my own kind of style to it. And if it doesn't look good, and I was like, ah, it didn't work out the way I thought. Um, then I can be like, all right, well, just take it apart and leave it as this and then do what I need to do with that mini helmet. And now I have just a Mandalorian mini helmet, or I can just part it out and have a bunch of a silver, uh, chrome pieces for whatever in the future. But yeah, this set is, in my opinion, I, I still love it. I, I like it. Uh, again, it is not the complete chrome version. And I know they came out with a chrome one years ago for the Naboo Starfighter, which was amazing. And that's like a highly collectible one with Atticon, uh as a kid. And that was beautiful. Don't have that one. That would be an awesome because then I would could totally, you know, if I, if I knew back then, I'd have two of them and I would have just added that whole thing to this and then it would have been amazing. Um, but don't have those. So at the end of the day, this is what you get. And it, it's not bad. And it has little shooters right here. You push this down and it'll fire the little shooter that's right in front. So that's really cool. Uh, we can go ahead and, oh, oh, took out the robot. That was, that was a hard shot too. Um, but anyways, yeah, sorry, little guy. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, it looks really cool. You got baby Yoda. This opens up real easily right here. And he, oh, I mean, he's pretty secured in there, but, uh, yeah. Cause if I tried to pull him out his little, his little head, but he looks just like the other baby Yodas that have already recently come out. I don't think there's any, uh, difference on this thing, but so cute moving his little head. I mean, it looks like he's just looking around really cool. And then obviously we have the Mandalorian in here. Now he does look different from his uh, his other character, which is in this one. So he has a little bit different look. Here, I'll go ahead and uh, pull this guy out so you guys can just see the difference. All right. All right, and he doesn't come with a cape. The Razor Crest one comes with a cape. All right, here we go. So the one on the right is the chromed out uh, Mandalorian version that came with the N1 Starfighter. Really nice, I like the chrome helmet, I think it looks good. And then this one on the left is obviously the uh, Razor Crest version. Both of them have great printing on the legs, the arms, everything looks really good. 
Um, I can't complain about the design. To me, it looks awesome. Um, with the Nabu Starfighter, I believe he came with, uh, with something. Could have sworn there was something else, but uh, it might have came with the, the, the Saber, uh, which is somewhere. I can't remember where I put it because I've been busy with other things, but it's got to be around here somewhere. It's probably hidden in a compartment or something. Uh, yeah, I don't want to start ripping things off. Oh, here we go. Yep. All right, here we go. See, I knew it was in here somewhere. So, it's just I built this and then I got busy with life. So, it comes with a jetpack, which is really cool because you can put that on him. He's not wearing it, obviously, because he does not fit in the cockpit with it. And then your dart saber. Uh, now, here's your little dart saber. Now, the dart saber is something... Could have been more to be desired because obviously it's just a lightsaber stick, black lightsaber stick. Now, I, it what's crazy is because I actually know they came out with a while ago and I don't remember what sets it was exactly, but I was like, man, there was something, uh, I'm not sure if it was Ninjago, but has like a wavy, like uh, sword type thing. And I was like, man, why don't they just do that with the dart saber? Cause then you can just make it black in the middle and then obviously a light on the outside. But you know, they haven't done that. I don't know why they haven't done that, but, you know, that's that's on them. But anyways, uh, yeah, it comes, and then you just store that stuff in here because obviously it has to be taken apart to fit. It's got a little space, and then that fits right in there, and then this piece fits right over that. So secure, which is why I didn't even know where it was. And then, oh, this piece is a sticker piece. It's not a print. This thing was a pain. Because not only do you have to put the sticker on right for it to fit exactly on this piece. Because if you just put it on, like, oh, I'll just put it on. And you don't put it on right and then you try to stick it on. Then it's going to be, like, not the right way. And it has to be completely lined up perfectly for it to actually fit on there perfectly. So I'll re reconnect that uh, in a minute. But, yeah, I was like, that sticker, I was like, oh, and I'm super... A perfectionist so for me it was like oh it's just I need to reapply it reapply it lifting it up just kind of every single centimeter just moving it and it was it was a pain I still don't know if I got a hundred percent but you know it was I did the best I could um, but other than that really cool piece like I said for 30 bucks great deal 50 bucks eh, willing to pay that uh, which obviously I did before I got the $20 back but yeah no way paying $70 for this and Man, it would have been so great if they added chrome to this thing or just all gray and just finished it. Just like in the show, it would have looked amazing. So hopefully, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll come out later with another one saying, hey, this is a, uh, we, here's the upgraded one. This was the one when they were working on it when it wasn't complete. And here's the, the perfect one with the, the N1 Starfire chrome all over it. And that one's a hundred bucks. And you're like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> so at the end of the day, if they do that, I would, I'd be willing to pay, you know, I would prefer 70 for the chrome because obviously those are rare pieces. That would be amazing. A uh, hundred bucks, a little steep, but if they did that, you know people would pay a hundred bucks. I would pay a hundred bucks. I'd be like, it's all chromed out. It's it's exactly like the show and it looks amazing. And I was like, yeah, all right, okay, here's a hundred bucks. There you go. I'll suck it up. But anyways, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I know I've been busy with life and work and family, so I haven't put out as many videos lately. Just been kind of hustling, getting that money so I can buy these beautiful Lego sets and, uh, you know, especially in this day and age. But anyways, it was great seeing you. I hope you guys have a great day and uh, uh, the Mandalorians say see ya and talk to you next time. All right, guys. Bye.